You just can't stop the tech news, you know? Trust me, I've tried. It's like the train in GTA 5. Tech news has no brakes! GPU prices may have been going down a bit recently, but demand for those sweet gaming graphics cards is still sky high, according to experts on the economy. A situation we're reminded of thanks to the seizure of over 5,000 XFX graphics cards by Chinese customs officials. Strangely, it wasn't some shady scalpers trying to smuggle cards over the border in an attempt to avoid import duties. It was apparently the Chinese branch of XFX themselves. The 5,840 cards were higher end models, apparently worth around $3 million together. But they were improperly labeled as low end ones, which would have saved XFX China some money. I miss the days when these kinds of busts were about drugs or diamonds, but GPUs? That's crossing the line. It's a little sad. In other FX news, AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution upscaling technology has been playing second fiddle to NVIDIA's DLSS since it launched, but that might be about to change because Team Red is expected to announce FSR 2.0 later this week. And DLSS is on version two now, so that means AMD is caught up. Yeah? High five! I got a piece of it. Okay, wait, DLSS is on version 2.3. Take that five back. Come on, take it back. <laughs> Although there's still hope. Video Cards reports that FSR 2.0 does use temporal data and features optimized for anti-aliasing, two things that might help it compete with Team Green. No word yet on whether FSR 2.0 will also bring a performance boost, but we'll learn more during AMD's scheduled GDC talk, capital T on the talk. The talk is titled Next Generation Image Upscaling for Games, which basically sounds like the holodeck to me. Very exciting. Super realistic goosebumps in games. And the developers of popular YouTube app Vanced, I believe there's an apostrophe in there, <laughs> have announced it's being discontinued after legal threats from Google. Oh! Because Vanced allowed users to block all video ads on YouTube without a premium subscription. But the app actually had a ton of useful features beyond ad blocking, including auto repeat, background playback, also a YouTube premium perk, picture in picture support, and custom themes. While it's sad to see YouTube going after small devs, it seems like the advanced team knew this was coming. There are some alternative apps with similar features, but apparently versions of the advanced app currently installed will continue to work for about two years. So that's how long you must wait until throwing tomatoes at Google headquarters, uh, because everything else they do is perfectly fine. <laughs> now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by the Corsair 5000D, and you know what the D stands for, Airflow, a mid-tower ATX case that will show off your PC and not its cables. Unless you're really proud of those cables, then fine, show them off. No one's judging you. The 5000D has easy to use cable management features, an optimized steel front panel that delivers massive airflow, and has expansive cooling options with support for up to 360 millimeter radiators on the front, side, and top. Grab your 5000D airflow from Corsair today at the link below. Ergo. Here, I smuggled in these quick bits for you. Hopefully Linus doesn't see. Big time Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo said that Apple's next round of iPhones will not all get the same chip. It's expected that the iPhone 14 Pro and the Pro Max will feature the top of the line A16 processor, while the non-Pro iPhone 14s will be stuck with the same old A15 Bionic chip that Apple just put into their cheapest phone, the iPhone SE. Because what kind of status symbol is the Pro iPhone if it has the same chip as the non-Pro? Might as well have bought an Android, am I right? Disgusting. Google is being sued by a group representing Florida restaurants who say that the order online button seen on Google's business listings, which links users to delivery companies like Grubhub or DoorDash, is unlawful. An unlawful attempt to steal a commission on a purchase. They claim Google never got permission from restaurants to use the button, but Google says they don't actually receive any compensation from the feature, so Or do they? I don't know, but I do like seeing tech giants getting sued. Eat the rich, ha ha. Get it, Riley? He wrote get it, James, but he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Shenzhen, widely considered the Silicon Valley of China, has been placed into a week-long lockdown following a spike in COVID cases, which has led to major tech suppliers like Foxconn suspending operations. <laughs> that gotta affect me. It's unclear how long the shutdown may last because, wow, Remember when we thought this thing would be gone after a month? Ha! Remember that though? Seriously. My one friend was like, three years, guys. So I was like, shut up. <laughs> Twitter has reversed last week's controversial update to its mobile app, which allowed users to swipe between the algorithm-powered home feed and the chronological latest tweets feed after intense backlash. 
The real issue wasn't the new swiping feature. It was that users weren't allowed to change the default setting, meaning every time you open the app, it would be set to home. That's right, fight the algorithms. Maybe humanity has a chance in the robot war yet. Maybe we'll have the top tweets. And console modding YouTuber Ginger of Oz took it upon himself to make that 15 year old fake image of a portable GameCube into a real device. Not an image at all, not even an NFT. He actually made it better than a GameCube. The handheld combines a Wii console with GameCube controls, teaching us that not everything in this world sucks. There's a handheld GameCube thing now. That's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's definitely gonna be okay if you come back on Wednesday for more tech news. If you don't, I have no idea what's gonna happen and frankly, I'm scared. Have you read the news, David? The tech news, come back for more.